One day, Wysokichuk was walking along a path, and he looked up, and he saw a flock of geese flying in a V formation. Ah, those silly geese, thought Wysokichuk. Don't they know it would be better to choose one goose to be their leader and have everybody fall in a straight line? Then they'd certainly know that they get to where they have to go. I should call a meeting. So he called the geese together in a meeting. And he said, which one of you is the leader? Well, the geese looked around among themselves, and finally one of them came forward and said, we suck at Chuck. We don't have a leader. Each one of us is a leader, each in our own way. Ah, you silly geese, said we suck at Chuck. Don't you know it would be better to select one of you as the leader and have each of you follow in a straight line? Then you'd be certain to get where you have to go. Well, the geese looked at each other and they said they would think about it. And everybody went their own way. The next day, Wysokachuk was walking down that same path. And if you know Wysokachuk stories, he walks down that same path all the time. So he looked up. And there were the geese. And he looked up and, ah, oh, those geese are now wise because they'd chosen one goose to be their leader and each of them was following in a straight line behind him. Well, Wysokichuk wasn't the only thing to see the geese. Flying high above the geese was an eagle. Ah, those silly geese. My children are going to eat well tonight. And so the eagle came down and grabbed the goose that was last in line and took him away. The other geese didn't notice that their brother had been taken away and kept on flying. The eagle came back, each time taking the goose that was last in line, until only the goose that was selected as leader was left. The goose came back. The eagle came back for that last goose. And after that, the geese had no more problems with leadership. <laughs> there are many lessons you can take from that. You know, from don't follow silly people's advice. <laughs> that there are strengths in all of us that should be used if we want to move forward. Each of us have a gift that the Creator gave us. And it's up to us as individuals to nurture those gifts and for others in our community to recognize and use those gifts. That is the basis of mobilization, and that's one of the basis of healing, is the recognition of gift. In Canada right now, there are approximately 2,000 Aboriginal people in federal institutions. That means each year we lose 2,000 years of the gifts of our people that we don't enjoy and we don't learn from. <clears throat> 